Do you have a timer? Uh, Okay, good. Well, I'm recording a video, Go. so that's a timer. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, this is piece number two. First, you notice that this is kind of waterproof paper. It's different from normal paper. Oh. Right? Because you want to make instruments that will survive all kinds of things. This is the same material that's used by to print currency. So it's called tear-proof. So the first fold is right there. What I'm doing is, and I'm going to try to fold fast because I want to beat my own record. <laughs> so I'm going to talk less and make one, make microscopes fast. But typically when I do this, I try to explain what I'm doing. What I'm trying to do here is make the location where the slide is mounted. So you immediately notice when this fold is done, uh, we've created this little slot. So that slot is what holds the slide together. But then at that same time, it maintains the different distance between the sample and your objective. So it's very important, right? So this is piece one is done. Now the piece two is a little more complicated. We're going to start with this. And what I'm going to try to do here is have the entire thing part you're putting in is the part that holds the lens, right? That's correct. So now this is what holds the lens, but this is also what handles the illumination part. So this is the key, that this holds the illumination and this holds the optics, but they are aligned. That way when you move around, you actually get a completely assembled unit that doesn't, where these two components are actually <coughs> together. One of the things that I have to now try to do is get this thing out from this side. It has to be inserted completely except this piece is getting in the way. Oh, it's more than three minutes now. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> So the key thing for thinking about um, why these folds are like this are when I'm folding, it's actually aligning my own uh, marks and objectives. So now what we need to try to do is this through. That's piece one. And then that's piece two. So you start seeing some of that shape. Then it's one, two, and three. That mounts the second piece in place. And now this piece couples the bottom and the top together such that I get alignment right there. So at this point, the mechanics is done. We just tuck in these little bunny ears. So if I was not confused, so at this point you have the focusing mechanism, which is that, and then the panning mechanism. So clearly this has no optics, so one of the things that 
it does is depending on the types of microscopes you're making, the kit basically comes with many different types of lenses that you mount and that, for example, finishes one of the microscopes. And then in the kit, there is another module. So you see these pieces are missing. This is the module that fits the LED that we were talking about that mounts here. And then this piece mounts there. And that basically gives you uh, the light piece. And then the LED and the light module mounts to this piece. But at this point, if we wanted to use this, for example, you mount the slide right there. So it fits in. And I'm going to remove this module because this is where the light comes in. And you can start using it. There you go. It's actually much better than that other scope. So if you hold that, <laughs> you'll immediately see. Uh, you point it to the light, no, to that window, that's it. You'll immediately see the carbon suit sample I was talking about. What do you see? <laughs> yeah, the black stuff. You should see black dots. But the black dots have a lot of structure, and that's carbon. So that's going too that far. Awesome. So you don't have to bend it that much. 